Good day, comic diehards. We will be covering the seventh installment in the Mutant Massacre story arc concerning the second issue of the Mighty Thor series. Issue number 374, published by Marvel, titled Fires of the Night. Retaliating from their first loss, three members of the mutant group known as the Marauders converge on the Thunder God once again. Harpoon starts the attack by hurling an energy spear only to have it smashed by Majora. Quickly, Blockbuster follows up the attack with a left hook, but is felled by Majorna once again. Vertical decides an indirect assault and temporary daze of Thor, but a vortex spun by the mighty mallet reverses its effects and causes the originator to stagger herself. Having enough of this mummery, Odinson slams Majorna's half to the ground, creating a radiant heat few mortals can bear effectively routing once again the scores of the Morlocks. With his attackers gone, Thor turns to the mangled angel. Gently lowering the celestial beings into his arms, he carries him away to safety somewhere else in the tunnels. While not far away, the marauders lick their wounds in a channel of the floating dead. Sabretooth conspires with Harpoon, letting Blockbuster coincidentally hear the conversation of his inadequacy to take down the Thunder God. Spurred by his goading, the powerhouse takes off to confront the Norse god a third time, and swearing an oath that when he returns, he would shove those insults down to Sabretooth's throat. Elsewhere, while laden down, the god journeys through the underground labyrinth. By having chance, he comes across the quarry of the X-Factor. Thor offers his protection and takes Artie into his bosom to protect him against those that will prey on him. Then. Unexpectedly, the ceiling begins to rumble, creating cracks in the concrete constitution. When suddenly it gives way, dropping Blockbuster on the Thunder God's arm, fracturing it asunder. Seeing the God incapacitated, the Marauder follows up with a devastating right hook, pulverizing his humorous. Seeing the Savior in peril, Angel spurs to his aid, only to be captured in the Goliath's vice-like grip. Seizing his opportunity, Thor hurls Majorna into Blockbuster, smashing him directly in the face, crushing his skull. The once powerful Marauder falls to the ground, never to stir anymore. While kneeling to check on Warren, Artie shows Thor that he knows the way out. Quickly, Odinson throws Angel over his shoulder as Artie guides them both through the darkened tunnels. Shortly, in a serendipitous encounter, Artie is reunited with his surrogate family in a temporary celebratory reunion. Seeing the severity of Warren's wounds, Gene levitates him to be carried away. Scott offers his thanks to Thor and then notices his injury. Instinctively, Cyclops blasts a steel ladder, melding his rung to form a sling for his friend's benefactor. The two briefly talk and Thor accepts Scott's offer for quarter, but first the Thunder God tells him he must deal with the rotting carrion carcasses that lie below the city streets before leaving. Abandoning them in this state will create a health hazard for the citizens of Manhattan, and, be and besides, they fell in battle. The Morlocks deserve a Viking funeral. While X Factor retreats to their headquarters, Thor takes his time negotiating his way through the tunnels. Satisfied that there is no one left alive, the Thunder God slams Majorno's hat into the ground, creating a cleansing fire that unfurls for miles through the tunnels incinerate everything to ashes. Satisfied his work is done, the son of Odin stands in reflection of the unwarranted carnage he, that he had just witnessed, warning to his purpose, if any. Man, that was a great end to the seventh chapter of the Mutant Massacre story arc. Make sure you drop a comment below telling me your thoughts. Till then, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you are notified when the next episode drops. Until then, as always, keep reading. <laughs>